Autoplay show thumbnails show captions last slide next slide in a game both coaches like and to a heavyweight fight Trevor Campbell and the male Bulldogs finally delivered a knockout punch no baseball team had been able to land in regulation this season against the top ranked street. Xavier Tigers Campbell's two-run home run in the top of the sixth inning finally did in the Tigers, who came back from a pair of multiple run deficits, in a 7-5 win Tuesday night at Edwards Field in what was technically the championship game of the 26th District's tournament. The difference came in the top of the sixth the senior Dylan Wilson singled and was sacrificed by junior Giant Cruz. One out later, Campbell crushed his homer, we felt pretty good about our chances, said Campbell, whose team put the pressure on the Tigers late in the regular season meeting, having the tying run at the plate in the seventh inning. I think we've proved this year that we're not scared of anybody. We're coming. We can compete with anybody on the field and I think we showed that tonight, Mail has been showing that for a while. The Bulldogs, while unranked, entered the postseason having won 11 of 13 contests. More, St. Xavier Boys Tennis caps off decade of dominance in singles, doubles, St. X is a good team and any time you beat a good team, it helps your confidence, said male coach Jake Fiorella. But we look at it as another game. It's a challenging opponent. And if we want to accomplish some of the stuff that we've set out to do this season, we're going to have to have wins like that against teams of that quality. Mail hopes to earn three more wins like that in next week's seventh region tournament. Both teams, the only entries in the tournament as the district also includes girls-only schools and non-baseball members, advanced to the regional. The draw is at 10 a.m. Saturday at Southern. Male 20-7 will host a quarterfinal game Monday, while St. Xavier 30-2 will be on the road. The region tournament shifts to U of L's Patterson Stadium for the semifinals and championship. The Tigers trailed 3-0 before they ever got to the plate. Male senior John Ellum hit a two-out single and he scored immediately on junior Todd Jackson's home run to left. He threw two straight curveballs. Third time, I wasn't missing it and that's what he threw me, said Jackson, who hit his third homer of the year. Sophomore Grant Nip singled and senior Cam Singer reached on an error. Saint Xavier tried to catch Singer's courtesy runner, Jordan Levy, stealing second base and sailed the throw into center field, allowing Nip to score easily, but we knew we had to keep going, Jackson said. Their two-eyed hitting is very good. We just had to keep fighting every time they scored, it didn't take long for the Tigers to immediately fight back. In the bottom half of the first junior Eric Lyons and senior Trey Sweeney hit consecutive one-out singles and junior Cam Sheeler was walked, loading the bases. Following a meeting at the mound, senior Andrew Littlefield delivered a two-run single and senior Andrew Littlefield had a run scoring ground out to get things back to all square. See also, Louisville sweeps 3A team titles behind Trinity Boys, male girls, we kept answering, but never getting over the hump, said Street. Xavier coach Andy Porta, male jumped back in front, 4-3, in the third as Jackson hit a one-out single and, following an error, scored on Singer's single. The Bulldogs extended their advantage to 5-3 in the fourth as senior Tristan Garcia drew a one-out walk and Campbell followed with a single. Garcia scored on Ullum's second single of the night, I was really proud of the way that we kind of threw a punch, we took a punch and we kept throwing, Fiorella said. But we stayed in it. We stayed true to what we were supposed to do in the way we were supposed to do it, once again, St. Xavier bounced back. Junior Xander Adams led off the bottom of the fourth with a walk and junior Layden Keller was hit by a pitch. 
Mail nearly got out of the jam with a sacrifice bunt by senior Chase Patton and a strikeout foot Lions pelted a two-run single to tie it at 5-all. We just couldn't put enough zeros up there, defensively, where we could potentially get a lead, Huerta said. We're always playing catch-up and then tie them, but we could never get over the hump, not only did Street. Xavier lose for the first time this season in regulation, the previous lone loss came to McCracken County in extra innings, mail seven runs were the Tigers most allowed to an in-state foe this year, errors hurt us. Missing locations hurt us because you have to tip your hat to mail because they did a good job when the ball was up in the zone, Puerta said. Did a good job driving two out of here and even with their base hits. They took care of any pitching mistake like they were supposed to do, 